Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON 2027 is three years away and the East Africa host countries that won in Pamoja bid, which are Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, are in the race to renovate and build new stadiums that will meet FIFA accreditation in order to host it. Today we are going to assess some of the proposed stadiums. Number 10, Akibua Olympic Stadium, located in Lira, Uganda. This 30,000 multipurpose stadium was named after Uganda's first gold medalist, John Akibua. The stadium is set to undergo numerous renovations, including playing surface. Chamazi Complex. Located in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Chamazi Complex is home to Azam FC with a capacity of, of 30,000 fans. Although it is CAF accredited, the stadium is set to undergo various upgrades including dressing room, lounges and playing surface. Stern auf meinem Himmel leuchtet hell war. Hält es kurz oder hält es doch für später? Ich kann nicht sagen, wer ich bin, was ich fühl oder was ich mal erlebt hab. Ich glaub, wir lieben diese Zweisamkeit. Ich will Erfolg, weil ich dann noch mal alleine bleib. Aus einer Pille wurden zwei und aus zwei wird es mehrfach, mehrfach. Du siehst auch so wie der Himmel, aber fühlt sich an die Hölle. Ich geh tausend von den Schlampen, aber geb ihnen nur Pässe. Der Erfolg kommt nicht allein, das hat mich Opa schon gelehrt Ich will ein Zug, bitte nur ein Zug Ich bin wieder zu auf Fakt ab, ich will Lachgas Gib mir wirklich nur einen Zug, ja Number 6 Nayo National Stadium, Kenya. Located in Nairobi, Kenya, this multi purpose stadium built in 1983 was the second stadium to be earmarked for the Afcon 2027 ceremony. It is set to undergo facelift, playing turf upgrade in order to attain FIFA standard. Dr. Samia Solo Hassan Complex, Tanzania, with planned capacity of 30,000, the stadium stadium is set to be multi-purpose complex, which will host football, rugby and athletics as primary events. The proposed stadium, stadium set to be built on 14.5 hectare and was inspired by Mount Kilimanjaro. It is going to have VVIP section, two VIP section, one for politicians and the other for corporate executives. It will include offices, halls and museums. Number 4, Mandela National Stadium, Uganda. Named after South Africa's first president, formerly known as Nambul National Stadium, this 45,000 multipurpose stadium is located in Kampala, Uganda. 
It has undergone various upgrades since it was launched in 1997 and it's set to be upgraded as the AFCON 2027 is. Number 3 Kasarani National Stadium, Kenya. Located 15 kilometers away from Kenya's capital along Tika Road, Kasarani Sports Complex has a sitting capacity of 6,000 with VVIP, VIP and lounges and hospitality suites. It contains modern changing rooms, media arena with high-speed internet at strategic points and shops. The stadium is undergoing renovation, which includes new playing surface and fan seating areas. Number two, the Benjamin Mukapa National Stadium, Tanzania. Located in Dar es Salaam, built in 2007 and named after Tanzania third president, Benjamin William Mukapa. This is 60,000 seater stadium is one of the most modern stadiums in East Africa. The stadium is favored to host either opening or closing ceremony, one will argue, but the only competitor is Kenya's upcoming Talanta Sports City. Number 1 Talanta Stadium, Kenya. Located in Nairobi, Kenya, this tech service stadium set to be completed by December 2025 will have a capacity of 60,000 seat. Although it will be a football rugby only stadium, the facility is set to have an outdoor training and athletics facility, parking space of up to 30,000 cars. The stadium design will incorporate modern technology with big screens to enable live production, the virtual referee assistant VAR, and the goal line technology. Thank you for watching till this far, comment your views, like share and subscribe.